In this video, we're going to show you how to do some really cool masking tricks in Filmora 10. Keep watching! Hey everyone, it's JJ from Wondershare Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. Lately, I've been seeing a lot of really cool optical illusion videos, and I thought, maybe let's try this in Filmora 10. So in this video, I'm going to show you three cool video illusions that you can do in Filmora 10 using the masking tool. Let's get into it. First, what is a masking effect? Masking allows you to cut something out or place something on top of your video. Think of it like cutting a hole in your video so you can see what's below in the bottom layer. With masking, you can do effects like this. Cool, right? So let me show you how you can do it in Filmora 10. First, you need to film the clip. Find a doorway with enough space for you to walk back and forth. Next, what you need to do is set up your camera on a tripod and frame the camera with the center height of the door. Setting up at the center height will prevent lens distortion. With your tripod set up, film yourself walking behind the door towards the camera. Get close to it, then go back behind the door. Then cross the doorway slowly and walk out of frame. Now that we have the clip, let's get editing in Filmora 10. Import the clip into Filmora 10. Next, put the clip in the timeline. One on the first track and one on the second track. For now, hide the first track. On the second track, move the playhead and find a frame with the background without a subject and create a freeze frame by right-clicking the clip and clicking Add Freeze Frame. Extend the freeze frame area and cut out the rest of the clip. Next, go to the Utility folder under Effects and drag the Image Mask effect on the top layer. Double-click the clip to open the Editing Options and under Video Effects and Image Mask, choose the Rectangle Image Mask. Make sure the mask is inverted by clicking the Invert Mask box. Adjust the mask until it matches the doorframe and then click OK. Now unhide the first track and find the correct timing where the subject appears in the scene. Cut the clip before the subject appears on the screen. Then on the second track, cut right before the subject crosses the doorway the second time. To get this tree portal illusion, set up your camera on a tripod and frame the tree at the center of the frame to avoid any lens distortion. Try to find an area where there isn't too much background movement. You can also keep the camera rolling so you can do this all in one shot. Now film your subject walking from one side of the tree, stop for a second, and then turn back and walk out of frame. Film your subject doing the same actions, but this time, after the stop, have the subject keep walking forward out of frame. Import the clips into Filmora 10. Next, put the clip in the timeline, one on the first track and one on the second track. For now, let's hide the first track. In the second track, find the movement when the subject appears on the other side of the tree. This is the second time when they walk forward and out of frame. Trim that area of the clip and cut everything before that frame. Now, go to the Utility folder under Effects and drag the Image Mask effect on the top layer. Double-click the clip to open the Editing Options and under Video Effects and Image Mask, choose an option that masks the right side. Adjust the mask until it's on the right side of the tree. 
Increase the feather to remove any visible lines from the mask. Now unhide the first track and move the clip on the second track to match the timing. You can then cut out everything outside the scene in the first clip. For this illusion, you'll need to set up your camera on a tripod and place the camera on a low level, close to the ground. Try to center the area of the building and the ground respectively with the subject. You can use a closed aperture to keep everything in focus and a wide lens for a more dramatic perspective. Add a mark on the ground for the subject to know where to jump. Now get your subject to walk to the marker, jump, then walk out of frame. Let's import the clips into Filmora 10 and put the clip in the timeline. One on the first track and one on the second track. Let's hide the first track. On the second track, find the frame with the background without the subject and add a freeze frame. Extend the freeze frame area and cut out the rest of the clip. Now to add the mask. Go to the Utility folder under Effects and drag the Image Mask effect on the top layer. Make sure the mask is inverted by clicking the Invert Mask box. For this effect, you'll need a combination of multiple image masks. This is because we need to mask the sky and leave the building. Play around with the different shapes of image masks available. Adjust and invert the shapes until the sky is covered. Once you're done with the mask, unhide the first track on the timeline. Find where the subject appears and cut everything before that frame. Next, find the frame after the subject jumps and is in the air. Cut the clip in the second track and delete everything after that clip. Playing around with a masking tool can create cool illusions like these. And there's so many more possibilities to get creative. Have you tried masking tricks before? If you have an epic illusion video, send us the link in the comment section below, because we want to see it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys next time, and keep creating. Bye. Yeah, me too.